Yo, what's going on today, guys? So today we are in Louisville, Kentucky. We're at the college, and uh, today let's cover how to replace the sky that is behind me. You can see the sky right up in here. We're gonna replace that with, I don't know, something cool. So let's learn how to do that right now. All right, guys, so step number one for this sky replacement is to pick a cool spot to replace your sky. So I'm here within this football stadium, and uh, we're gonna replace this guy that's behind me, if you guys can see. And the first step to doing all of this is you wanna overexpose the sky just a little bit. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Luma Keyer, and we're gonna Luma Key that sky out, do a couple garbage masks to make sure we don't hit nothing we're not supposed to, and uh, we'll have a replaced sky. It's actually a lot easier than it sounds, but I'm gonna show you guys one little trick that is going to take your sky replacements to a whole new level that everyone forgets. And it's such a small, minute detail that people miss, and it's so crucial. And I'm gonna show you guys that here right now. Once we get into DaVinci, I'm gonna show you guys in Fusion one thing that's gonna transform your sky replacements and take them to the next level. So let's shoot this shot here, and then let's get into Fusion, and let's replace some skies. Let's do it. All right, guys, here we are back in DaVinci Resolve. And as you can see, I have imported a clip from Louisville, Kentucky. We were down there doing a private event for some people who invested in the college's athletic programs. And I thought that this clip right here was a pretty good opportunity to show you guys how to replace some skies with whatever it is that you want. and. I'm gonna show you guys a couple tips that some people leave out that can change the game of sky replacing. So let's get started. First thing you wanna do is obviously bring in a clip. I have put a quick little color grade on here, a little teal and orange, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna adjust more of that later. But the next thing you wanna do is, as you see, I've imported up here on the left a picture of the Milky Way. I'm gonna drag that down on top of my stadium video and you wanna stretch it out. And if you look at it here, it doesn't fit the whole screen. So what you wanna do, if that happens with any of your images, make sure you highlight it and then I'm just gonna zoom in on it. And it is that simple, just like that. Next thing you wanna do is select both of these clips or images. You're gonna right click and you're gonna select new fusion clip. And what that does is brings both of those clips into Fusion. And to get into Fusion, if you don't already know, you just click down here and that will bring you into Fusion. And now if you're coming from Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects like I did, this might look a little bit intimidating. But I promise you, it is one of the easiest things you shall ever learn. And once you learn it, it is the easiest thing to master. And I promise you that. But I'll give you guys a quick little rundown on what all of this is. So first and foremost, these are the two clips that you've you, we imported it onto our timeline and made into a fusion clip. They merge down into here into this merge node. These are called nodes, which make them one clip and brings them together. And then this is your final output. So everything, all the effects and everything will be on this clip. Now to make this as simple as possible, we're going to first rename this to stadium. Keep it organized. And we're gonna name this one Milky Way. Awesome. So now if you look up here, we got two screens. We've got one on the right, one on the left. So you can either grab it and drag it up there like that, or you can select it and push one on your keyboard and you can press two for the second one on your keyboard. And if you notice, nothing changed here because I have the Milky Way selected and it was already there. I'm gonna select our media out and put that, I'm gonna hit number two and put that in our second viewer here. And again, if you notice, nothing changed. That is because the Milky Way image is in front of the stadium and we need to rearrange that and make sure that is the background and not the foreground. So with that being said, what we need to do is rearrange where these things connect into the merge. So what we wanna do is unselect them by just clicking here on the little lines. And if you hover over these, you'll see that that says foreground, the green one's foreground, yellow is background. So we need the stadium to be the foreground. 
and we need the Milky Way to be the background. And that is our final output, and that is how it needs to be. So let's get back onto the first frame. Next thing we need to do is add a luma key here. So you want to select your stadium, hit shift spacebar. That is going to bring up your select tool. And all you got to do, is, as you can see right here, you're just going to type in luma key. Here. You're going to bring it right up there and you add. And it already drops it in. But as you can tell, it puts it on the whole thing. And we only want it on the sky. So what we need to do is we need to add a garbage mask. And it is a pretty simple thing to do. All you gotta do is make sure that your Luma key is highlighted. Come over here to your polygon tool, select that. And all we're gonna do is make a mask around the stadium and the sky to mask out where the stadium is. So I'm gonna speed this up. That way you guys don't have to sit here and watch all of this. All right, now as you can see that we got the mask done, it is Luma King out where the stadium is and we want it on the sky. So that's an easy fix. All you got to do is come down here to the polygon tool and where it says invert your mask, that's all you got to do is just invert it. And now the sky is now masked out. But because this is a moving clip, if you look, the mask does not stay on the stadium. It's a moving clip. What we got to do is come back to here. We select the stadium, hit shift spacebar, and we'll look up something called the planar tracker. And all we're going to do is we'll get this a little bit more organized here. And up here is where you get like all your selection tools and all that for this. But we're going to track the stadium. So let's just select a good spot of the stadium here a nice contrasty area on your first frame with the planar tracker selected you're gonna go up to here and set your frame reference you're gonna go to here your tracker go hybrid point area and I always do translation rotation and scale and now come over here and this is how you just track forward track to end perfect now that this is all tracked get all this data of how the the stadium is moving within the video well, we're going to come down here make sure your planar tracker is still selected and you go create planar transform what this does is it takes all that information and allows you to attach it to anything so for our polygon which is our mask and is going to move and come back to our frame two here you're going to select your planar transform hold shift and put it in the middle of the polygon and the luma key. So now all that tracking information is attached to our mask. So now the next step for all of this is come back to the luma key here, and we are going to luma key out the sky. We're going to first, we're going to go to back to the beginning and we are going to, I think it'd be cool to just start at none, hit the keyframe, come to about the middle and we are going to make sure it is complete but if you look these edges are so harsh so what we want to go do is go back to your polygon and just a little bit on the soft edge nothing too crazy just a little bit so now when we play it back it slowly bleeds in and now it's like the night sky which is really really cool but one thing i do want to do is if you look when it's complete the milky way is kind of hidden by the Stadium. So what we want to do is click on here, shift spacebar again, click transform. Now this is what trans the transform node allows you to do, edit position, angle, the size of it, anything. But what I want to do is just go ahead, I want to grab this little arrow, and I just want to pull it up till about right there. And I think that looks really, really cool. Right about there you see the Milky Way coming in. Beautiful. All right, now we're almost done. But there's one important thing that we need to do. If you look at here and watch, this is a moving clip. The sky is stagnant. It doesn't move with the clip. And we need the, we need the sky to move with the clip to make it feel like it's real. And this is what a lot of people leave out when they're showing you guys how to do sky replacements. It just doesn't look right. It looks weird. What we're gonna do now is come back to this planar tracker that we created and we're gonna create another 
planar transform. And what we're going to do is hold that shift and we're going to attach it to the Milky Way. If you notice, there's this little space right there. All we got to do to fix that is go down to this transform and you just raise the size up a little bit. Problem solved. And now if you watch it, it moves and looks natural. Very, very simple. An easy fix. Such an easy thing to do and people always just leave it out. But it just makes everything look really, really good. As we're going to come down to the stadium clip again and what we're going to do is we're going to push shift spacebar and we're going to look up color corrector right there. Hit add and we're going to hold shift again and put it in after the luma key here. And we're going to go over here. We're going to make sure that the brightness is keyframed here. And then we're going to make sure we keyframe it right as this starts coming in as well. And then at the completion of the luma fade, which should be right about at this frame, we're just going to take that brightness and bring it down. As this fades in, it gets darker and it maybe makes it look a little bit more like nighttime. And there you go, a completed sky replacement clip. All right, guys, so there's the, there is the completed version of this video. Hope you guys like this tutorial. Like I said, it's a little fast, a little confusing. I'm trying to keep these as quick as I can and as simple as I can. There's a lot of information that we just went over in this video. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you guys are subscribing and following along because more of these tutorials are going to keep coming out. But like I said, Fusion is not as scary as people make it out to be. It is actually a pretty simple and it's, and it's a fun thing to learn. Let me know if there's anything else you guys want to learn. I'm going to be coming out with more tutorials. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, but we're going to figure it out together. So I'll catch you guys in the next video.